So you're gonna go check on the pigs and give them some leftovers. Oh, hey, we're just gonna go check on the pigs, see how they're doing in the new pasture. How you girls doing? Well, we know the fence is on. So as you can see, they've done pretty good with that pasture area in about 24 hours. So before we let them in there, this is what it looked like. You have to keep an eye on them. There's the rooster. I'm learning how to crow. Pretty funny. Um, we'll have to keep an eye on them because we don't want in here to end up looking like how this area looks. So I'm going to be letting them out at night when we're home in here, probably for the week. And then probably by next weekend, I'm going to have to fence in. Let's see if we can do a fence in down here. Because we want to get this area nice so we can put it back to. We want this area to be nice. We can put it back to pasture or lawn and not have too many big roots and gullies in there. So while we're out and about, we'll go check on the chickens and ducks. So the ducks are doing pretty good. Getting pretty big. We got two silky Rhode Island Red Cross chicks in there that were given to us. And then I got one barred rock chick in there. I move them every other day or once a day depending on how much grass they've eaten. This is the area right here that they've been eating. They do pretty good. I don't know if you can see it down here. The strip is all from the duck pen. There's the chicken tractor. Been moving this twice a day. So these girls have been getting moved twice a day, once in the morning, and when I get home from work. I've put food out twice a day for them. A uh, couple of pounds each time. So that way they eat more grass and more bugs. They're more interested in that than just the feed. There's two roosters in here. One root right there. And then that guy in the back who just ran away. Right there. That's still a rooster. They've just been learning how to crow. Recently, they've been waking us up around 4 o'clock in the morning some mornings. I haven't heard anything from the neighbors yet, but we'll see what happens. I plan on keeping them. I'd like to hatch out some chicks from them next year, so we'll see. I was hoping maybe while we were over here I could get one of the roosters to crow, but I don't think he's going to. A little camera shy. Come on, buddy. You got performance anxiety? Let's go ahead and show you where I've been running the chickens. You can kind of see the strip going up the center here. Go ahead and we'll walk it and we'll see how they've been doing. They've been eating it really good. 
been moving them twice a day, so. It's pretty dry right now, so the grass isn't growing. I gotta keep the, mat, the grass. I gotta keep the grass mowed down. It gets too long for them. They don't eat it that good, and it makes it a lot harder to move the chicken tractors. Slow down. Stay over here. You can see the strip here, where they were. I've just been running them in circles around the field. As you can see, they were here. And then here. And before that, they were here. And when it was wetter out, and we had some rain, it's been pretty hot and dry lately, the grass was growing really good where they were. You can see a couple of dock spots of green grass here and over here. Let's go take a walk and see if we can show you how good the pasture is doing where they've been. There's a couple of dock patches right here and here and then all over here out here is all nice and dark lush green grass I just mowed it last week and it's been in the 90s now so it dried up pretty good but try to keep the chickens working for us getting this pasture brought back up this is what it was looking like beforehand I don't know if you can see how thin and patchy this is. Before we put the chickens on it, this is what a lot of this pasture was. Over here, where they've been run. It's really thick. And green. So, the plan is to run them and work them. Throughout the pasture. All through the field and get it all looking like the good spots right here. So, we've only ran them, we've only been able to run them once in this area so far. So, if the spot looks this good with just that little bit of chicken manure on it once and the chicken's disturbing it and scratching it, just imagine what it's going to do throughout this year and next year. Pluto, come on. So, thanks guys for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Have any questions or comments? Leave it in the links below. All the animals are doing good. They're helping the land, healing it all back up and making it like it's making it so it's gonna be a better working pasture land and farmland for us. And we'll be able to get more animals on it sooner than later. So we'll see you right back here next time at Lumna Acres.